right, so we're on our way home from South Carolina, and uh, you know there's a trick about this particular vehicle is that when your fuel gauge hits a quarter of a tank, you are actually empty. Well, we just thought we would test that just to make sure it was accurate. Well, it wasn't quite accurate. Just below the quarter tank mark, you, you are definitely empty. And so we're coasting now, coasting down the side of the road in, uh, this would be Leeds, Alabama. Leeds, Alabama. Uh, if it's a good place to stop, we got a fast program. 900 feet. Well, heck yeah. This is the place to run out if you're going to. Set the Bucky's, uh, you know, I think there's two Bucky's in Alabama, I think. And this is one. And so we're going to get to go to Bucky's, uh, probably purchase a fuel jug and uh, get some diesel fuel. And so we'll just take you guys along for the ride. 500 feet. Turn left on US 78. <laughs> all right so this fun adventure luckily we're like i would say it was about 200 yards maybe 400 30. yards yeah four from bucky's which if you're gonna run out of fuel that's the place to do it not only did they have fuel jugs they had a racing five gallon fuel jug right, so that's what i got you turn the key on i'm gonna wait 15 20 seconds uh let it just let it do its thing, build a little pressure, cut it off, back on. Um, it's the only way to do it. Plus it's hot in here. They're nice folks in Bucky's though. <laughs> and they got all kinds of food. There's a, some dude in there with a cowboy hat giving out samples. Restrooms are nice too. I'm, not that I was in there for very long. I mean, I knew I had people stranded here, but nice clean restrooms, lots of food. I met at least four very friendly Bucky's employees. <laughs> there are fuel islands. There's plenty, so there's plenty available. Always some open. The place is nice. I wasn't in there very long. So. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna try to start it this time and cross your fingers. See, I ain't got, I ain't got to hold the key. It'll try to start. So it, let's. We're about to cycle it a few more times. Okay. Last time I ran out of fuel and we put fuel in it, I think it took us about 30 minutes before we actually got it started. never want to run out of fuel in a diesel truck. That's what all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because I saw some pretty neat stuff here in Bucky's and somebody's going to grab it before I can get back in there. <laughs> so how y'all doing? <laughs> How's your mama now? <laughs> It's not like we need to like get home or anything, no. you know. All right, third time or fourth time charm. No, I'm at the fifth or the sixth. <laughs> This is it. This is 
it, folks. This is it. You hear what I'm saying? Mark my word. This is it. That wasn't it, the next one's it. Not that I can tell. Nothing coming out. No. That kind of stinks. You got fuel that time. What's that? Yeah, you got fuel. Awesome. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, man. Now what? We're gonna we're gonna hit the sweet. If it cranks, we're gonna slam the hood and go to bucket. <laughs> Let's hope so. Oh yeah, man, it's the it. Right. You got them on the tool? I set them on the seat. Okay. Car again? Oh my lord. I would rather somebody just jump us off. Y'all want me to get back there and start waving them down? 
No. I don't think my second time I've been caught. Don't you got AAA? Yeah, you remember last last time I caught uh -huh. AAA? It took them three hours to get to us. Oh, wow, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can we get that car ready? No, let's just... Let's, just, let's wait just a minute. Let's wait just a second. Let's let it breathe, and we're going to pray. Okay. The battery's going to recharge, and this sucker's going to fire up like never before. Because we going to fuck We're going to get them. We're going to get them. We're going to get all that diesel at this thing at home. Plus some extra in that gas can. Alright, who's going to pray before he drinks it? Alright, who's going to pray? Dude. Lord, we are tired. We are sorry that we ignored the signs that you clearly put before us. But we ask for your favor and your grace right now. Will you please let this battery be charged and there be enough diesel in the tank and the air's out. And we pray that you would just let this truck crank up so nice, Lord, right now. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 <laughs> I hope my starter ain't died on us. That's very possible. That is an eBay starter from China. Andrew, please tell me you're fine. It's worked I told great. I you about this China stuff. It worked great until now. Comes from China. China. All right. She calls him, he will come to the concert. The noise of this Captain, traffic is very Captain. annoying. It is. Got a load on her, don't she? <laughs> Was it almost That's a record? Head? That's a record. Yeah. Yeah, barely. It's kind of because of the hitch too. I couldn't like just kind of oh, sink down I as much you. as I wanted to, but still. It, but you got yeah, it. You though. maxed her out there. Definitely. <laughs> yes, oh, you got a strap hanging down right there. Yeah, that is. This thing is kind of janky. It's, it's oh, okay. It's on there. Okay, I got you. Got you. Yeah, it's. I'm the new guy, so. Are you? Well, you're doing great so far, man. Are hey, you going? You're going to be on my YouTube channel too. Oh, what's up? Hey. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. You're, you're doing great. Thank you, sir. You rescued us. Yeah, man. Very impressive. Sir. Hey, it's for sale. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get your trailer too. I do too. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be there in the morning when I come back. There's a lot of country redneck folks around here, man. They might. Hey, if it's gone, it's It'll gone. Be you know. You'll be fine. All right. Well, just I'm willing to take the risk on that. So it is what it is. All right, give it a go. Uh -huh. Oh no! <laughs> Third place. Third place. Well. Well, I've got updates. 
Spent the night in this uh, parking lot last night. It's the good old Bucky's that we were so close to when we ran out of fuel. So we tried starting a truck so many times. One of one of two things has happened. Either I've burned my starter up, or I've run uh, run the battery to where now I don't have enough cranking amps to even turn the engine over. I'm leaning towards that, uh, just just because of the way it is. Hoping it's not the starter. Starter is three hundred dollars and laying up under that truck, wrestling with trying to get the old one out and the new one in. The batteries, I'm gonna take both batteries out. We'll take them to the auto parts store, get them to charge them and then check them. One of them is brand new. The other one was a little questionable. Uh, I know I should have replaced both of them at the same time, but I'm cheap. So replaced one, it's new. The other one was a little sketchy at the time. So I'm thinking it just couldn't hold up to all the cranking we was uh, doing to it last night. That's my hope because taking a battery out and putting it back in is a whole lot easier than trying to change that starter. So the car we were hauling, because it has issues, has now become our rescue vehicle because I need something to go back and forth to auto parts store. Hopefully it's just going to be one trip to an auto parts store and back. Get them to check and charge the batteries. If we find one of them's bad, I'll replace that, bring them back, reinstall. Now we still have to, we never got the truck course started last night, obviously. Um, so we still have to make sure that the fuel pump is primed, there's no air in the lines, or else we're going to be back in the same spot we were in, cranking on it with a, with a no start. This morning, a very nice guy uh, was on his way to uh, take his wife's place, was sitting with their mother who has Alzheimer's, and he was in a hurry, and he agreed to go and get my trailer and bring it to me. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if the man's a Christian or not, but you know what? You can tell a tree by the fruit it produces. And that's an okay guy right there. He helped me out. I tried to pay him. Wouldn't take a dollar. Wouldn't take a dime. All right, let's get these two batteries out. Get them in our questionable rescue vehicle. Get them to the auto parts store. Now we made it to the auto parts store with our questionable rescue vehicle and it died. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out from under the hood. The engine is drenched. And I'm going to see if maybe you can spot what I spotted. What is wrong with this picture? So, the pull in the middle there with a little nose on it, that's your water pump. You see how the belt is like riding on the very outer edge? It's even worn a nice smooth spot around the very outer edge of that pulley. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. That belt is just not far from slipping off. And that pulley appears to be, um, well, not, you know, straight up and down. It's kind of sloped or slanted. I think we've got a completely busted water pump. Um, yeah. Y'all know how I feel about coolant. So, I don't know if I'm even going to get back to the Bucky's parking lot without replacing the water pump on this thing if that's in fact what's wrong with it you know it's just a uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving and we're so grateful um, 
but I can't really tell because there is so much water coolant everywhere but it looks like it could be coming from behind that pulley which would make sense if your bearings and uh, your shaft is wobbly that of course coolant's gonna definitely be leaking from there um, I would need a pan, some tools, your water pump with the gasket. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned. All right, further updates. Um, so I removed the belt and um, I, don't, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. That may be all right, but we say we go ahead and change it anyway. All right, thanks to some the magic of video. Hey, we got a new water pump. How about that? Kept the old belt. It's in good shape. Didn't seem to need to change it. However, the uh, tensioner pulley and the idler pulley were uh, we're, we're starting to go bad. They were kind of loose. They, I'm sure they were making some of the horrible noise that we would heard when the car was running. Anyway, uh, new tensioner pulley, new idler pulley, new water pump. And I'm filling her up with some uh, coolant. Once we get her topped off, we're going to fire it up and see what happens. Well, the coolant staying in there, that's a pretty good sign. As I took the old water pump off, the uh, little roller bearings in there were just, they were just falling out, man. That thing was complete toast. It's idling so much quieter and smoother now. Um, it's no surprise bearings in the water pump was falling out metal against metal basically two of the other pulleys were making noise no doubt and were on their way to failing so anyway let's hope she uh, doesn't start puking the coolant out I've already got it on my hand you know how I am with coolant all right we'll let her uh, get up to temperature let the thermostat open Get her good and hot and uh, see if she'll hold together. Well, as you see, I made it home. A little side note here. Um, once I saw that this was not going to be a quick fix, um, that, you know, that it was going to be a long, drawn out, drawn out ordeal, especially since this was late Saturday night any parts stores, any shops, automotive shops, they're all closed. Um, and my number one priority was the people I had with me. I needed to get them home and then I can deal with, with whatever's left there. Um, so my nephew who lives in Birmingham was only about 20 minutes away. That's about how far Birmingham was from where we were at. Uh, they had an extra vehicle he and his wife brought that. We were able to get the rest of my party in that. They were home that night and I stayed with the truck and started working on, uh, you know, searching for, Googling for information on what I could do to fix this thing. You know, in the back of my mind, I was, I was thinking, okay, maybe it's not the starter. Maybe I have some other issue, a starter relay maybe. Uh, I was under there pulling out relays. Um, I was had my jump wire. I was trying to hot wire. There's several ways you can actually hot wire uh, and make that starter respond. None of those was working. I didn't get any response. Um, so that's why you don't see everybody else with me. Uh, where we last left off with the recordings was I was in Leeds, Alabama in the uh, parking lot of the Advanced Auto Parts. 
great thanks to them by the way they were extremely nice guys uh, loaned me all the tools I needed for the repair of the Jeep uh, the Jeep is doing well uh, the water pump was the issue with that as you could see with the horrible condition of the water pump um, the truck so we had the batteries that's what we that's why we were at the auto parts store was I had them charge and test both batteries uh, both checked okay so I had attempted to hot wire the starter on the truck to see if it would come to life and uh, it would not I couldn't get any response from the starter with going uh, straight to the battery post with a jump wire so I purchased a starter not cheap uh, like to take a side note here and mention that you know while the starters on eBay coming from you know China they're cheap you'll save some money but they will lead you into a situation where I found myself while the starter was fine to start the vehicle a few times during the day it w did not have it wasn't made for continuous starting, especially in the situation I found my, myself in. So, you know, go ahead and spend the extra. It's going to save you a lot of heartache. I purchased a remanufactured uh, starter from Advanced Auto Parts. It was a CarQuest brand. However, um, even after purchasing the tools I felt I needed, I could not, for the life of me, do the job in the uh, parking lot which I was in with the tools I had that was available to me. Starter is very difficult uh, to get to. Really, there's only one bolt on the whole starter that's difficult to get to. And when I say difficult, it's difficult. It's hidden. You can't see it with your eye. You have to feel for it. Anyway, a great friend of mine uh, drove almost three hours two and a half uh, at, you know at his own expense he loaded up tools he's a great mechanic by the way um, he came and he put the new starter on in that parking lot it took him maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes we had the starter on and I was a little nervous about hitting the key once he had it installed, because, you know, I was, I was gunshot at this point. Uh, starter worked absolutely great. Engine was turning over. Now, we, if you remember, we didn't quite get the fuel lines bled underneath that overpass there before the starter died on us. I almost had it going. Um, so, with his help, while I was cranking the engine, he was on top loosening the fuel lines that go into the high pressure pump and he was he was bleeding those uh, and we was able to get the truck started, hooked the trailer to the truck, we got the Jeep on the trailer, everything strapped down, tools put up, uh, was able to grab us a bite to eat before we hit the road and uh, he followed me all the way home to make sure that there were no other issues. Made it home uh, late last night.
All right. Time for bed.